The second method of locating a blank or machining in other than lathes is locating from, from internal diameter or locating a blank through an already drilled hole, one hole or more than one hole. This is the most effective way to accurately position a workpiece. And we saw this uh, in our discussion on uh, restricting the degrees of freedom that if we have a if we have a blank that already has a drilled hole, so we can insert a pin in the body of the fixture and we can locate this workpiece through this already made hole. So the locating surface is is a hole in the blank and locating method is a pin in the body of, of a fixture. And I hope you remember that uh, through this method, locating a workpiece like this, through already drilled hole using a solid pin like this restricts nine uh, directions of movement. If you, if you have forgotten, you can refer to that activity. And if, if we are having two holes in the, uh, in the blank and we are locating it through those two holes using two solid pins then 11 directions of movement are restricted. So when possible it is logical to use holes as primary locators and we can use uh, some surface on the on the blank as a secondary locator. So we will see some examples as well. So here is an example that we are having uh, this blank that is uh, to be milled, for example. Some milling operation is to be performed. So we had a hole on this side of this, uh, this blank. So we are locating it through, through the pin. So that is the primary locator. And then we are using an outer pin as a secondary locator. So I repeat that this workpiece is primarily being located through already drilled hole using a pin in the body of the fixture. And then it is being located through a flat surface using this pin in the body of the fixture. So there are different designs of pin locators available to locate a workpiece or a blank from already made hole. So, you can see we can have this uh, round shaped pin, we can have bullet shaped, we can have plain conical or, or dowel pin locators. I hope you, you are visualizing it, but I, I emphasize here that if the similar pins are being used to locate a, a workpiece from a flat surface, then this surface upper end of these pins will be acting as, as locators. But in this case, we are locating a workpiece from internal diameter. So these surfaces on the sides will act as locating surfaces. So for example, workpiece might uh, sit something like this on these locators. So this workpiece is having some hole here and a hole here. So I hope you can visualize, sorry, the hole here. So these surfaces, these vertical surfaces will be acting as, as locating surfaces. So I will show you an example of a workpiece placed um, in uh, in a fixture using these locators in one of the following slides. So here the basic idea in this figure is to relieve uh, the locators because there is a problem of jamming if the contact area of the locating pins and the hole in the blank is large. So it might be very difficult to, uh, to eject the workpiece from the body of the fixture. So here, this one indicated here is the contact area and this top this taper and this, this cut actually will, will provide some relief. Actually, the workpiece will not contact the pin at these two points. So we can easily eject the, eject the workpiece from the fixture. So 
there are different designs available. Again, you can refer to the handbook for details. One of the relieved locators that we are having is what is called diamond pin locator. So it is have, having a head shape like this one. So it is having a 30 degree angle. So for example, if we are using it in combination with a, with a round pin, then it will reduce the area of contact with the, with the workpiece. So in this case, workpiece is having two holes. So it is being located through these two holes using a round pin and a relief locator or a, or a diamond pin. So this diamond pin will reduce the area of contact and will reduce the chances of uh, jamming. Secondly, if we were using both round locators, then there might be some looseness in the part. So we definitely would need uh, a separate clamp to reduce that looseness or upward movement of the workpiece as well. But this relief locator is further restricting uh, the looseness in the part once it is located in the fixture. And the requirement for the clamping force is also reduced because of these, these points of contact of this pin with the workpiece. So you can visualize it that instead of uh, this relieved or diamond pin locator, if we had used a round or, uh, or a circular locator, what would have been the impact? So here are a few other designs of, of reducing the area of contact between the hole in the workpiece and, and, the, and the locator. So in this case, we, we will have this much area of contact of the hole in the blank and the locator and the rest of the area this much and this one on the bottom is relieved. It, it will not contact the workpiece. So this is called split contact locator. Then we have raised contact locator. So again, this much will be the area of contact. And finally, we have spherical locator. So in this case, the contact will not be actually through some area, but it will be a single line contact. So the further reduction in contact area will be achieved. And one important point that you might notice in this case, especially in the case of a spherical locator that depending upon the variation in the size of the hole in the workpiece, uh, they, they can be catered for, those variations can be catered for because uh, depending upon the variations, the area of contact, uh, contact might increase or decrease, but workpiece will definitely contact this locator because it is having a spherical shape. So I hope you can visualize that as well. So instead of a straight edge, we are having a spherical shape. So uh, there are almost no chances that uh, workpiece may not contact the locator. So there are different designs available. Here you can see how a workpiece will be actually placed in the fixture using these relief locators. So again, this is the this is the workpiece, and it is contacting the locator at these points and at these points. So it is it is having no contact at these points uh, with the locator. And same you can see here on the right side as well. So again, the workpiece the locators, this one, and the contact area. I couldn't actually uh, here insert the example of a spherical locator, but you can visualize that the area of contact will further reduce and it will be a longer line. So these are the different designs of relieved locators that can be used. And these locators can be inserted into the body of the fixture and locate the workpiece through, through some already made hole like this. So again, I would emphasize to notice the difference of such locators once they are used to locate from a flat surface and how they are used to locate from an already drilled hole. Thank you.